and he and PB get some shots of me riding the skateboard. And so as the first electric skateboard, this ride, the skateboard is very solid. I mean, the range is crazy. 24, the estimated is 24, depending on your weight. I weigh, I weigh around 120 pounds, 125, I mean. So like that's that, like that makes a difference. Um, so, I mean, I know I'm gonna get a little bit more range than other riders because it doesn't have to push as much. So hopefully I can get around the full 24 or even close. I'm just hoping for 20 at least. Especially since, you know, there's a lot of hills too. You gotta account for that. But either less, man, this is fun. I haven't had any problems with it. I mean, of course, it's only been like a week or two. So, so I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a great skateboard. I love the look. It's nice. I like that the thing is corporate, the thing is with it. I do have my own sliding gloves on. As you can see, they're already busted up because, as, as I said, they fell. So, these they definitely helped me slide. It could have been a lot worse, but I had these on, which is good. My positive fuck up. If you want to get gloves, make sure you have like a, it's not, it's not a gel like. Make sure it's like a plastic. That way you slide instead of, you know, bending your arm or something stupid. And so, and these are nice gloves right here. If I'm on Amazon, you want to know, just let me know. Put them in the link below. And let me just change the FOV, I guess. And yeah, I mean, let's get some shots in the skateboard. I did see that on the way to the park, I did um, manage to kill it all the way to 20, uh, 25%. It gave me a warning and then it gave me another warning a little bit time after called well, coming here, uh, that's 10%. So right now we're just right now at the last 10%. I'm so far, I don't know the exact amount, but we figured out the end with the actual pictures. I took pictures of every single time I've used it since I've charged, since I fully charged it on Tuesday, today's Friday. And we're somewhere close to about 21, 22 miles which is pretty good for this board. It's estimated at 24. I weigh about 20, um, 125 pounds. So you'll see, you know, take that for account. And I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty stock board. I just have this little handle right here that I got off Amazon. It really helps carry it because this does weigh 22 pounds and it's no joke when they say how heavy it is. Um, it makes it easier to drag it too. Instead of having to pick it up all the time, you could just drag it like this. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna test it out so far. I mean, I'm gonna try to kill it all today at this park. As you can see, the board is officially dead. Not even the other one goes, because of how dead it is. Look at it. So we finally used all the battery. Yep, finally used all the battery. So, hope you guys could hear me. Uh, this end of the battery life video so i was about to get i calculated the times i calculate i take pictures every single time i'll put it on the i'll show you show it right here on the editing somewhere around here of all the times have i used it so i charged it full charged on tuesday 
I took it out, you know, for like 12 miles or so, 14 miles that day. And I took it out ever since without charging it. And the board, the board lasted me about 25 to 26 miles, which was very impressive because the estimated time they gave you was about uh, 24 miles of range. So I was able to get 25, I was about to get 26, 25 to 26. And now I do, um, I am 5'7", around 5'7", basically 5'7". I weigh about 125 pounds, so I'm not gonna be, I'm a little bit average. So, in weight and probably in height. So, uh, you know, I was probably able to get more range than others. So just keep that in mind. I do weigh 125 pounds, 5'7". But I was able to get 20 on, yeah, 20, 26 miles. You gotta keep in mind when I do, uh, every time I do ride my board, I do um, push to start. So I basically like kick it to start with because I know that can, I know that helps save a lot of battery since it's not using as much force for acceleration. It's not start, starting from zero. It's not starting from zero. It's starting like you know at four or five miles per hour. So if you do want to save your battery, if you do want to make your battery last longer, you can just kick to push, which you know is not that. It's, I think it's very good because it's like a, you have to you know get that motion of the board going first, rolling. As opposed to going from like you know standing still and then just straight up going from zero to like five or ten miles per hour, so I pushing to start is a very great way to save your battery, which I did. I did ride a bunch of uphills and also a little bit of downhills, so that I have also saved my battery since uh, most skateboards nowadays do come with um like the Meepo and Meepo one I have do come with um, acceleration um no not acceleration what is it called regenerative braking there you go so that means it just um, more power goes into the board once uh, it regenerates the braking because it gets the power from the braking if you know how that works hopefully that made sense and it's basically the end of the video I mean I've been I wrote it quite a bit I mean the first time I wrote it was about that whole day was about I guess I said 13 miles went all the way back to my mom's house I came back which was very well even by then it my my, uh, my battery still sold more than like 50% or more so that was pretty impressive which is also I was able to get 26 as you can see at the last end of the video the last clip of this, it basically, after like five minutes of that, it started going. I mean, I also showed you a clip over there where it, uh, sorry for the clip. Yeah, I basically showed you guys a clip too, also at the end that, you know, it got so dead that basically one only, it only had enough um, power to power one and after that it just died. And then even on the video, it showed that it didn't want to go anymore. That's how dead it was. So that's how much it took me for one full charge. Um, yeah, that's basically the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys, is like, hopefully this is a good uh, range test. This is my first, you know, Second skateboard video, I don't really, best skateboard videos don't really know how to like do this efficiently, but hopefully it shows transparent enough. You guys got the message, and hopefully you guys can hear me through the mask and everything. And yeah, I mean, peace. Have a have a good one.